And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is the final group stage game in the UEFA Europa League. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, you have to say, Derek, these European nights are always special. There's been a real buzz about the city today. Let's hope we get a good match tonight. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the starting 11 for PSV. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. Well, with a place in the knockout stages guaranteed last time out, the visitors will be hoping to continue that run. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? But can't avail himself of the chance. Well, he'd be disappointed with that. Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. The high press was very much on. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Oh, big chance. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And teammates to play it to. And the cross smuggled away. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. And he keeps going. Targets available. Cross comes in. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. But just look at the space he has. He doesn't even have to jump. Of course it's a good finish. But the marking is woeful. And a good-looking ball. And a goal! It's a finish of real class. No shortage of acrobatics on display here. He's judged it to perfection. Incredible header. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And he read it superbly. Oh, he's really opened them up here. 
real chance and off the post and turned onto the woodwork PSV recovering possession well and begging to be put away oh off the post trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away can they forge ahead yes is the answer and that could be oh so important well here's the replay he does well to find that bit of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off that's a good goal Tremendous ball played through. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. He'll take this on. An equaliser in the closing stages. Well, I have a feeling we're going to see this time and time again tonight. It's a fantastic bit of technique. Just to get that much lateral movement on the ball. Wonderful strike. And the referee says that is all for today. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, what a brilliant display that was. He was so clinical in front of goal. Unfortunately, the rest of the team couldn't match his quality, could they?